If you remember from one of my previous videos, uh, there is this concept I introduced or uh, an idea, an idea for kids uh, to understand AI better. The idea is that these machines or these AI or artificial intelligence systems, uh, they interact interact with the world through sensors and devices. So in this video, what I'm going to do is a very basic uh, basic uh, HTML, which is the language which browsers understand. Uh, we will uh, write some HTML, which uh, the browser can understand and stream uh, a video. And what video are we streaming? We're streaming the video which the camera sees on that uh, laptop or machine. Hopefully, in this example, this uh, the kids are working on a laptop or um, a, a desktop which has a camera attached to it. So, it will uh, this uh, this HTML code will uh, look for a device, uh, a video device or a camera, and it'll take capture data there and stream that back. Okay, so. Let's look at the three interesting pieces of this HTML code. One is we will, let me take the pen here, we'll introduce a video element, which is actually an HTML tag. Uh, this one here, we'll have a video element, that's piece one. Uh, piece number two, or part number two of this HTML is we will introduce some script, and part of the, part of the script will be to get this video element, and then call a function to stream uh, stream your camera's data, camera's uh, uh, view back into this video element. Okay, so that's the whole idea. Uh, there are three pieces here. Uh, you know, add a video video tag, uh, write some scripts, but get the video element, this element out here, which is an HTML element, and then you stream that. Uh, captured uh, stream the camera stream back into the sweetie element okay so let's look at how HTML uh, will be uh, the HTML code would look like and again there's some basics required obviously in this uh, example the kid has to know some basic HTML but I'll, I'll simplify it as much as I can so let's go into my coding environment I'm using Visual Studio here I already have a couple of HTML files created. I'm focused on this file, index2.html. There's a head uh, head piece of the HTML and there's a body piece of an HTML. So all HTML has a head piece and the body piece. So in the head piece, I'll just, uh, for now, I'll just add a title, right, title. And I will uh, say video streaming or camera streaming, camera video streaming. Okay, so the, this is just the title for the HTML. And most of the magic happens inside the body. So like I said, what's the first element we need to add? That is right, the video tag. So video, right, uh, let's close that tag. And I will set some attributes here. One is I will give it an ID, ID equals, let's call it, uh, Mm, video player, I guess let's call that the video player. And then I will also turn this to be automatic. So I'll say autoplay. You see that uh, attribute there equals true. So this video will have to play automatically. And uh, okay, so let's start with that simple thing a body with video and at the video tag in it. No scripting so far, but. Um, Let's see how this works. So I'll save this. Go to my save shortcut. Saved. I'll go into the browser. So this is where I was explaining this. I'll go into my browser and I'll just refresh this. This is an empty tab. You probably don't see the uh, URL, but I'm hitting the index2.html URL and I'm just refreshing it. And um, I'll just move this just for you to see it. So this is index2.html. You see the and the name of the tab itself is uh, camera video streaming, which uh, the mouse is pointing to. So I'll just move that back. 
So the index2.html in the browser URL right at the end of it, as you see. Okay, so I'll move that back just, just uh, so that we know it's a blank page, nothing's happened. I'll come back to my coding environment. And now uh, the third piece, which is very important, happens. So I will uh, use a script. I will also point to that script in my comments here. So it's actually a GitHub repository, but I'll point to where you can get this uh, script. It's a very simple script, which I'm not going into detail. Uh, and this is of type, obviously, uh, it's a JavaScript. So uh, I will do, uh, forget the syntax, I think it's text slash JavaScript. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And I will do that. Oops, it's saying there's something wrong with my body tag. Maybe I have to close the uh, script tag. Okay. Yeah, it looks better. There we go. Um, so inside this thing, like uh, there are two pieces to it. Um, oh, maybe uh, this script can be closed here. I start under the body. Uh, body tag. Um, yep, let's do that. Or just keep an empty. I don't know why I get a uh, red mark there. Let's just close that script tag for now. Okay. And then start under the script tag. This is where I write some of the logic. One of them being I uh, try to get this element. So I'll say, get me that variable. Let's call it read itself. And uh, let's say document dot query, query selector, I guess, query selector, and then um, video player. Okay, that's an ID, so I can go get that element. So just make sure. Uh, and do, do, do text at JavaScript. Yeah, I think that's right. Um, script tag. And I think when I do that query selector, I probably have to call it. This is syntax. I'm just trying to remember. It's been a while since I did JavaScript. So I think it's hash via video player. Okay, so I'll just close that tag there with, yep. That's how it is. And then uh, I will say, you know what? I need to pass that element into my streaming function, which is part of the stream.js. So I'll just put stream and I'll put these, this variable, which I just selected. So I'm going to stream my camera's feed into this tag. Okay. That should be pretty much it. Let me just save this. I go back to my browser. Okay, I'm just going to refresh the browser. Let's see. Oh, this page says, hello, start a streaming, which is part of the JavaScript. Um, if you see in the top right corner, I click on OK. It says, this file wants to use your camera. And there you go. We are here. Okay, so a couple of things. So when I go back to my... Uh, go back to this file. One of the things is obviously this is a local file, index2.html, which I just uh, refreshed. The other piece which you have to remember is if you have to host it somewhere, this would um, only work if you have HTTPS in front of it, which is a secure way of transmitting information on the browser. Okay, so that's it for now. Uh, thank you so much. Talk to you soon.